Hi, good afternoon, Zach. This is Dylan Spooner from Alderman's Toyota in Rutland, where your satisfaction is our top priority. In front of us, we are going to be looking at the 2023 Toyota GR86 Premium, and this one is equipped with the manual shift. To jump right off, this vehicle was redesigned in 2022. Um, Gazoo Racing has took over this vehicle model. Um, so we're gonna be going over some new things. To start off, mechanically, it's equipped with a 2.4 liter um, boxer engine that puts out 228 horsepower, which is um, plus 28 from the previous model. And for those who do not know, this is a rear wheel drive vehicle, which um, this vehicle in the Supra is the only one left in the lineup. Um, for rear wheel drive cars to start and also um, to note uh, the customer has requested for no plastic to be taken off um, and to not wash the car um, but you can see uh, this is finished off in pavement it's a really good metallic color you can see right up front it has a really nice shine to it especially with this uh, really shiny toyota emblem which just really makes for a nice design led um, led daytime running lights um, LED headlights, uh, um, low beams and high beams, um, as well as the premium model gives you the adaptive lighting. And then you'll see down there, large mesh grill, functional air vents down here. And I love the little GR badge that you have right there. And then I like how the skirt goes all the way across and it has a lot of nice body lines from one on the top of here. Hard to see with the, it's hard to see with the plastic on top but there's two indentations so you can actually fit helmets under there um, if you do bring this vehicle to the track. Um, so let's just get started with the rest of the vehicle. If we wrap right around the side, the premium model gives you these really nice looking black alloy wheels and this is an 18 inch wheel and you get the Michelin Pilot Sports. It's a really hot, sticky tire um, and it, it really gives this car um, the jump on handling versus the base model of this car. Before we continue, here's a nice sharp look at the car. And then, when you open it up, it does have keyless entry. And you open this up immediately, um, you'll see the suede material. You're gonna see this everywhere inside the material of the car. And then you'll see there's the controls. And like I said, you're gonna see a couple different materials being used. But before we hop in, I'm not gonna remove too much of the plastic, but here's some more of that suede that you'll see. You see it has a nice texture, has a nice design, and the bolstering is very comfortable in this car. And it is a manual seat too, but hopping right in. You'll see the window slide up so it doesn't shatter. And then here's the GR start button right there. Make sure you're in neutral. Here's your startup animation right there. And then you'll see your infotainment screen, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, which is it's still a plug. Um, and then standing behind the wheel, you can see GR logo right there. You can control the dimming right here too, but as well as has a tire pressure monitoring system. And see how it gives you a few different screens, which you can all customize and stuff too. But you can leave on your distance till empty. Um, there's your voltage and then your wheel pressure. Down here, you see it has aluminum sport pedals which are really comfortable too and really easy to shift. And down here, you do get dual climate control. There's your climate right there. Short throw knob right here, which is really comfortable, really easy to shift. And then down here, you have a track mode, which take off the traction control and limited slip differential. And you can put it right back to normal mode and then there's your regular track mode off too, if you're just trying to get out of something small. And then with the premium model, you do get the heated seats. You get two cup holders right here. You press the button, it'll come open. And then you'll see there's the Apple CarPlay port with auxiliary. And then cup holders in each door, which seem to be the most functional one, most accessible one. And then just one quick rev before we get out. That boxer engine really has a pleasant exhaust note. Get right out. Is that window. You'll slide up just like that. To continue on the back of the car, something that you're gonna notice is the premium does have the duckbill spoiler. It's good for a little bit of downforce and it adds a lot to the car in my opinion um, for the rear end appearance. 
just gives you that kind of for the slope all the way up to the back. And then if you get right behind the car, it's a dual exit port as well as you can see has a really really nice look to the car and then you see LED has these LED um, brake lights right there LED turn signals then you see how wide this exhaust is and for a stock system I am pleased with the sound and then again here's another sharp look at the car just a really nice looking vehicle if you're looking for a fun vehicle to have in the summer um, equipped with an automatic or manual shift um, there's a lot of fun to be had in this vehicle and again Zach I just want to say thank you very much for your inquiry if you'd like to learn more there's going to be a link below if you're on YouTube there's going to be a link in the comments section or you can come see it yourself with Alderman's Toyota in Rutland